Women with a Y is happening this year, which is really exciting. We used to have the vagina monologues. We have now transitioned from that to have them more inclusive. So the name change came from vagina monologues not actually being that inclusive to people that are women but don't have vaginas and other things as well. So recently I read a lot of posts about like the Women's March and how it was like not very inclusive and how like a lot of people were defining womanhood by genitals. So that's something we tried really hard not to do is define being a woman based on genitals. So we picked Women with a Y. Um, Actually, I think we just kind of stumbled on it. Like, there wasn't really any long, thought-out process. It didn't have a name until, like, the end of last semester. Um, and one day we were just like, yeah, Women with a Y. We like it. So, Women with a Y it is. I'm really excited to be pioneering slash piloting this with Leah and Nicole. Very exciting time. Um, my favorite thing about Women with a Y is that a lot of the work came from um, students here, or it came from outside sources. So, although the vagina monologues are awesome, I think it's really cool that we incorporated all these different authors.